They may not be Superman, but eighth graders at Westwood Middle School found a way to fly. In this STEM class, students started with a prototype hoverboard, which wouldn't work, and had to make adjustments until they found success, some more than others. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and all those tools were applied in this project. Well, first, we had to make a plan or make a drawing of what we were going to do. And then we had to create a ground effects group. That's when Tanner and his group had to start brainstorming and experimenting. This is a donut for the ground effects skirt, which uh, helps it hover. And these holes help it help the air release. And so hover. once this fills up with air, the holes release and it makes a little bit of like a vacuum. So it stays floating instead of just air releasing out. And uh, that's how it hovers. The goal of STEM class is to develop critical thinking skills through hands-on project-based learning. This teacher knew exactly how to get the students to that goal. I did not let them know exactly how big to make the holes for the air pressure because there's a balance between the air pressure in the ground effect skirt and the air pressure coming out. Um, you have too much pressure in either one, uh, either it won't fly or it'll sink. So they had to figure out the uh, size of the holes to balance out uh, the air pressure between the two, uh, between the, the center uh, area and the ground effects hurt. There are plenty of distractions to keep students from finding learning as a fun experience, but building hovercrafts kept their minds active on class. They were all engaged. That's, that's to me, that is, that is what makes STEM class interesting. That's what makes it a worthwhile class is that they all walk in here and they want to be in here. They all want to be trying it. They all want to try flying it. They all want to try building it. They all want to try doing this. It's, it's, to them, it's half the time I'll give an assignment and they think it's play, not learning. And it, oh, oh no, it turned out it was a learning experience too at the same time and they didn't even notice. It's fun because it's weird feeling uh, that moving while you're standing on it because it is kind of bouncy. Even real-world applicators were learned. There's almost no friction, so like it easily slides over most things. It's like pushing it on ice. Yeah. Truth is, floating a few centimeters off the ground is a neat idea, but the process to get there is how these students will gain skills they will remember forever. This is I live for this. This is this is why I'm a teacher. This is this is the most exciting part of uh, teaching STEM. It's it's. They, they get to work with real world applications. I mean, hovercrafts are real things. They, they, they have all sorts of practical applications. They can be used for pallet trucks instead of being using those, the wheel things. Uh, a hovercraft can go over almost any surface. So this, this was a real world thing, that a real world problem that they all learned how to solve and work on. For North Metro TV News, Trevor Scholl reporting.